Hello, I'm Mike Levin, helping you fight obsolescence. Get your arse to Linux. But Linux is not what you think. When people say Linux, they either mean desktops or the Unix commands. It frustrates the heck out of this guy, Richard Matthew Stallman, who wrote those commands. That's GNU Linux, thank you very much. Desktops don't matter, because when you learn one desktop OS, you learned them all. They're just syntactic sugar. Windows, Mac, GNOME, KDE, they're desktop environments over top of APIs. It's really just the shell game. And point and click is easy and keeps you trapped. That is the point. That's where vendors want you, under their thumb. The alternative is text-based operating systems. Steve Jobs used to pry the arrow keys off of keyboards before signing them. Such was his hate for where computer interfaces were actually born. The Command Line Interface, or CLI. That is versus the graphical user interface, aka the GUI. He convinced the world that the old ways were to be avoided, fanning the flames of fear, and so made the CLI a secret weapon for the rest of us who could face our fear. Let it wash over us so that only text remains. No, not really. It's easier than ever to get the best of both worlds. GUIs are great for games and visual design software, but by the time you put in your 10 years to master some GUI software, the whole platform will be gone. Graphical software is uniquely tied to the platform and trends of the day, whereas text is eternal. So hedge your bets simply by switching your CLI to Linux. Currently, you've got MS-DOS and PowerShell by default. It only takes a few minutes to switch your CLI to Linux. You don't have to give up anything. Stay on Windows, Mac, or whatever. Just start using the Linux command line. It's Unix if you're on the Mac, aka the terminal. Uh, but don't worry, it's not terminal. It'll just feel that way at first as you take up the preferred text editor, Vim. It's older than you are, and it'll be around after you're gone. VS Code has maybe 10 years before new reality set in and topple it. You should take that personal after the investment you're going to be making into it. Why not put all that into long-term mastery? So start small. Keep a daily journal in Vim. You don't even have to code at first. HJKL around, wean yourself off mice, start forming new habits that'll outlive your laptop and your next laptop and the one after that. Improve your skills over the years without the giant reset button being pressed on you. So that by the time everybody else has to retrain, you just keep getting better. Enjoy your resistance to obsolescence this happens by making CLI your new home. It's achievable, it's a new normal, and it'll improve your life in endless surprising ways. Simply upgrading your CLI is the first step. Get started by opening a PowerShell and type WSL space minus minus install. Follow me on YouTube at youtube.com slash Mike Levin. I'm Mike Levin, SEO, helping you fight obsolescence. Thanks.